Hello and welcome to a Model Railroad Academy video. In this video we will weather a container. Yeah, this container will be our, our canvas uh, and I will show you uh, some of uh, the useful weathering techniques which creates those kind of impossible <laughs> results which you, you, you have to do a lot of work to achieve that unless you don't know the real trick how to do it real easy so here goes all right so here's our canvas a standard 40 foot container in ho scale but it said the weathering technique can be applied on almost anything now we have basically two type of paints to choose from one is the acrylic with the acrylic thinner and then we have oil paints and of course with the odorless turpentine and we're going to start by using the the oil paint and the first thing we need to do then with all oil paints is to put it on a bathroom tissue the bathroom tissue will then soak the lean seed oil out of the paint this is necessary because otherwise the paint will actually never dry the lean seed oil is otherwise absorbed by the canvas but since we're painting on plastic, the plastic will not make any absorption. So I'm dissolving this uh, oil paint into odorless thinner and applying this using a, a method called pin wash. So I let the wash, this uh, thinned oil paint, float along all of the seams use a wide brush for the wide areas and a very thin and small brush for the tiny details around the short ends of the container yeah like this this kind of enhances the contour of all the details found in the mold now the oil paint has a drying time if you want to speed that up you can use a hair dryer once dry i repeat the same procedure with the, the upper part of the container the idea here is that it gets worn in the edges when it's moved around the roof of this container is a flat smooth surface and we're going to do a magic trick with this one first thing i do is i apply a thin layer of odorless turpentine over the entire uh, roof and then i wipe it off using bathroom tissue then i take these pastel chalk powders it's dry pastel chalk and i select uh, kind of this one dark brown and uh, i grind some of that off onto the roof and then we need another shade of brown i'm going for a kind of light brown also in some spots now the magic trick with this is to mist isopropanol now over the pastel chalk powder uh, isopropanol will form kind of pools with the partly dissolved uh, pastel chalk powder and form kind of corroded areas a very nice looking effect all we need to do now is to seal this for this i'm using a shader uh, in the color grime from meg uh, the reason for doing that rather than just a matte varnish is that the shader will kind of cancel all the new and shiny surfaces which might still remain and given all overall grimy and used look so this uh, represents a kind of nice uh, basic weathering of uh, containers with the pin wash and this special corrosion effect on the roof this can be applied to box cars or corrugated roofs and other type of metal structures all right so that's uh the the trick of combining you know water-based acrylic paints with 
oil paints. You can get effects which uh, you might not think of in the first place. And also covering an oil effect with uh, acrylic um, uh, like uh, matte varnish is an excellent way to to preserve the, the effect so it doesn't wear off when you handle the containers or rolling stocks or whatever you're going to weather. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one.